So let's say we have two different objects that we want to combine. Here I have two objects and I imported them by going to file and import STL. So I've imported both files. So the first thing you want to do is uh, move the object into position. In this case, I kind of want to put this uh, monkey head on the corner of this boat. So I'm going to select the object here and I'm using the move tool to simply drag these arrows and move the object into position. All right, and I'm going to scale it by using the scale tool. Let's grab this white circle. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the move tool and you can also uh, select on these planes to drag it along the plane. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry too much about getting it in the perfect position because uh, it's already kind of a weird object in the first place. Okay, so now what you do is you select the main object that you want to add the other object to. And you go over here to this blue wrench. This is where you can access all of the Blender modifiers. And in this case, we're going to be using a Boolean modifier. So what the Boolean modifier allows you to do is you can combine or subtract objects from one another. So what we you can see here we have union and difference and intersect. So this is the three different types of Boolean operations that you could do. Union is where you join objects together and a difference is where you subtract an object. So we have our main object selected and we're gonna select on union. And if you click on here, we could uh, select the other object. In this case, it's called Suz Suzanne, uh, which is the uh, default blender object, I guess. So I'll select that and it's going to load. And now you'll see it's kind of giving us this kind of glitched out look and that's because the object has been joined and there's two monkey heads on top of each other. So I select the monkey head and I move it over. Actually, <laughs> I do not want to do that because it's still, we have not applied, so I'm going to press Control Z here. Um, so we have not applied the Boolean operation. So if I select on the boat again, click on this down arrow, and then click on apply. So now it'll load. And you still have the glitched out monkey uh, look, and all you have to do is, uh, now we have two. So that's the original object, and that's the boat with the monkey head. So when they're perfectly overlapping, it gives that kind of uh, glitched out look. So now, uh, when you use a Boolean modifier, you always want to check the mesh to make sure it um, did the operation correctly and in a clean way, because it could often um, not do exactly what we want. So let's go up here to the top left and go into edit mode. And in edit mode, we can just check out the mesh like so. And at first glance, it looks pretty good. And if we go into x-ray mode here by clicking on this button here on the top right, right there, it's a little bit hard to see, but you could kind of try to inspect and make sure you can see, it doesn't look like the monkey head is going inside of it, which is what we want. It's only uh, the head connected to the top of the boat. So that's looking good. We can delete, oh, we go back into object mode and we could delete the original monkey head by pressing X and then going to delete. And now we've joined, we've successfully joined two objects using Blender.